What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure review on the Disney Store exclusive Marvel Select Guardians of the Galaxy Gamora with Rocket. If you're trying to pick this set up, you can get it at Disney Store. Just said it's a Disney Store exclusive. That's where I found this two pack set, looking very cool. We got a lot of interchangeable hands right over there for Gamora. Anyway, on the side you can see Gamora right over there, and you can see Rocket right over there, and on the very back you can see a product shot, and then there's the other Guardians figures from Marvel Select. And then not much more on the side, or at the top, or or at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. Here's Rocket and Gamora out of the packaging, and I love this two-pack set. I think Diamond Select Toys absolutely killed it with this, especially with the Gamora figure. I've had so much fun taking pictures of Gamora. I think she looks awesome. I really love the sculpted detail throughout. I really like the head sculpt a lot on her, too, and she comes with a ton of accessories. Rocket is awesome as well. This might be my favorite Rocket Rack raccoon action figure in my collection. I really like that rocket figure, but we do have a lot of accessories to talk about, so let's get to those, and then we'll get to the figures. And first off, I want to take a look at the base that comes with these figures, and it looks pretty good. You know, fairly consistent with the other bases that we saw with Star-Lord and Groot. I really like this bit of dry brushing over the silver right here. That looks really cool. At first I thought it was a wash, but you can actually see the strokes right over here. It's more of a dry brush, right? That looks very cool. So brown dry brush over silver. I love the sculpted detail right here too. That looks awesome. Then we get those little Groot Dookie pieces again right over there on the side. And then we get some more green rock and some highlights on the edges of the green rock, which I really like a lot. You know, little bits of white paint right there. So I think that looks very cool. And just like the other pieces, uh, it comes with these connectors. Uh, you get three of these right over here. And then here we have the Star-Lord and Groot pieces already connected and this will form like that. Just put that in like so. And then take this one, put that in there like so. And then, oh, this last one doesn't really, oh, there it goes. All right, there we go. Now that looks complete. Very cool so far. We only have one left, and that's Drax. But, yeah, this is looking pretty good. And this uh, could line up a little bit better right there. But still, this is a pretty neat-looking base so far. I'm really liking it. So here's looking at the two guns that come with Rocket, and I think these look great. Uh, one thing I have to mention right off the bat is that just comparing them to one of the guns that come with Gamora, they look very different, like they came from a different planet or something, or from a different species entirely, which I thought was a nice touch. So I like that they look entirely different, but man, look at this. I love the silver dry brushing over black. Uh, that just always makes me happy. Yeah, I'm very pleased to see that. Nice touches of red on this too, so that's very cool. Then you're just looking at the smaller one, very flat gun right over here, but I like it. I don't know if that little bit of red was on purpose or not. Oh yeah, definitely was. It's on both sides. So yeah, that's very cool. I like these a lot. And they fit into his hands fairly well. Uh, you just, you know, just weave through right here. The tricky thing about these is that Rocket's hands do have a tendency to pop out of the wrist, but it's not popping out right over there. So yeah, he holds them pretty well. I like these. So while we're looking at a comic version of Rocket Raccoon over here, I thought it'd be fun to look at some of his earliest designs, which, oh man, look pretty horrible. Uh, I think those, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of them. They're pretty funny looking. Uh, when doing a Google search, uh, the costume that you're seeing right here was not the most common one I'd seen. It was actually the Blue Guardians costume or uniform anyway. Uh, and then here's a comic version of this one right here where he's looking very cute. I kind of wish this figure had a big gun now, now that I see this image right over here. But anyway, looking on at this head sculpt, I really dig it a lot. I like how he has his teeth showing. He looks very angry. I think the paint came out pretty good. You can see some brown, uh, you know, bleeding through underneath some of the black, but you know, it's a little iffy right over here. But for the most part, I'd like it, you know, not a whole lot to really complain about. We get some nice pink right there in between the teeth, making the teeth really pop. So I'm digging that a lot. I like how the beady red eyes came out. Little touches of black right over there in the ears. The fur is sculpted out very nicely. 
digging that a lot as well. So yeah, I actually really like this rocket figure. Nice clean deco with the red paint. Very, very dark. Well, I wanted to say it was very dark blue, but it looks like it's more like a black color than blue. And then looking at the silver right here on the shoulder pads and on the wrists, look pretty good. I'm liking the first sculpt right there. Looking pretty nice, and then you, as I mentioned earlier, you can pop the hands off, but he doesn't come with interchangeable hands or anything. I like the detail with the silver on the knuckles right there. I think that's pretty dope. I like that. Nice silver belt. The legs look really nice. Now, a buddy of mine, Nick Jordan, actually mentioned to me that some of these figures come with the leg backwards at the knee, and I didn't have that issue, but I think that does happen sometimes, so be wary of that. But mine looks fine, and I think that looks pretty good. We even get some treads at the bottom of his feet right here. I think that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I really like this, man. Very good rocket figure, and then I like the big fluffy tail right here as well. Nice paint-ups on there and everything, so that's pretty sweet. And I really like the articulation on this figure as well. His head cannot look up very much, though, or it doesn't look really look up at all, but he does have a hinge joint in there. But regardless, I still like the articulation for the most part. His head does move down that much. You also get side-to-side -side movement right here, and uh, just a little bit of head pivot wobbling, not much at all. Shoulders move outward that much. You can rotate them. 360 and move him downward. He has a bicep swivel. He has a single jointed elbow that meets a 90 degree mark and both wrists swivel side to side and they each have hinges that move up and down. He has a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. He can crunch forward uh, barely that much and back that much. He doesn't really have much pivot at the diaphragm either. Uh, he does have a waist swivel right here. He has the hip joints that move all the way outward like that. And this is what I really like about the figures. The leg articulation is really good. He can kick forward that much and he can kick back. You can also get him bending at the knee very far, which I think is great. I love that you can do that. He does not rotate at the knee, but he rotates just under this metal piece right over here. So you can see that rotate. And he also has ankle pivot and a hinge that moves up and down, and then the tail can rotate, and that has a hinge that moves up and down as well. Poor palms! Again, interchangeable hands. We get six interchangeable hands for Gamora, and that makes me so happy. I like that we get all these interchangeable hands. It just makes the figure very fun to pose around. So we get a pair of fisted hands right here, and you can see the white paint on the peg on all of these is just a little bit flaky. You can see that. And then you get these gripping hands which are for the sword or for the knife or as a supporting hand. Then you also get two trigger hands right over here with the trigger finger sticking out. Nice sculpted details on these hands too. I really like how these gloves came out. And then here's the guns or the pistols, the space pistols I guess, space blasters. I, I don't know what to call these exactly, but I do like this very bright silver paint that we're seeing on them. Get some mustard yellow right there. I like that. And then here we have this other one with a little bit of the mustard yellow, and we have this metallic baby blue color right there. So I'm digging that as well. And then we have the dagger or the knife looking really nice and pretty pointy too, so that's pretty cool. And that metallic blue paint stays on there fairly well. Same thing on the sword right here. So that looks very good. Nice big old long sword. Very, very cool. I like that. Yeah. More deserves a big old long sword weapon like that. That's pretty awesome. And then she has this big old gun too. Very cool. Again, I love this very bright silver. It looks great. Now I'm kind of tempted to see if Rocket can hold this thing. I actually did not try that before. So let's give this a shot. Oh man, his little hand. I, I don't think this is going to, no, it's not going to work. His hand is too small for this, but ah, oh well, I tried. And while we have a comic Gamora over here, let's just take a moment to remember the old costumes of Gamora. Mm. Yeah, the coffee came out really good today. But yeah, this is how she's, uh, this is one of the more recent looks for Gamora, even though this is not the most recent. All the recent versions, her body is totally covered up and everything. But we're not looking at the body right now, we're looking at the head sculpt, and it looks fantastic. I think she looks very pretty. I like it a lot. Very nice, vibrant green for the face. The orange color around her eyes looks really good. The eyes came out looking really nice and even, too. I'm very happy about that. I like how the lips look. And I like the dark green hair too. I think it's sculpted. I like these little pieces that you know move back right here. I think that's really nice. I like the short hair for Gamora. She looks pretty. I, I like it a lot. You know, looks pretty good. And looking at the rest of the suit, actually, you know, even though she's totally covered up and stuff, I actually really do like it. You know, it doesn't make me hate on it or anything. I think it looks great. I love this whole hatching pattern that we're seeing in the black section right there. We get this very dark burgundy. 
and the white parts are all sculpted out with these nice lines going through. Uh, there's some parts where the black paint, you know, it kind of meets the white. It looks a little hazy right there. I'm not a huge fan of that, but this looks pretty good. I like this. We've got some nice stripes right there. The lower torso looks really nice. Again, you can see a lot of those sculpted lines in there looking really cool on the white sections. So I'm very pleased with that. Here's looking on the back, you can see all this nice line work, more butt, and looking on the side right here, you can see a little bit of scuffage. It was like that out of the packaging. And you can see some parts of the white do look like they have, like, I don't know, it's like some kind of, like, little specks in the paint or something um, while this was being made. You know, it kind of looks like how there's those little fibers in money. That, that's what it kind of reminds me of I'm um, seeing over here. But anyway, yeah, in U.S. currency, there's like little bits of fiber in our money. Do you guys have fiber in your money too, if you're from somewhere that's not the U.S., huh? And I'm pretty sure a lot of countries do that. It helps prevent fraud and everything. Wow, we have gotten way off topic, but anyway, look at these big feet. I, I feel like her feet are a little on the big side, but at the same time, she kind of has this whole spacesuit look going, so it's not totally inappropriate. You know, and she does have peg holes under her feet. Now for articulation at first I thought that there's too much missing and then actually when I started posing her around and taking pictures I was like, hey, actually, you know, I like the articulation even though there's some points that I feel like are missing here. Uh, she can look up just a little bit, just that much and I really wish she could look up more than that but she does look up just a tiny bit. Uh, she can look down very far though, and you get side to side movement right there. Ooh, some paint chipping, and just a tiny bit of head pivot, eh, more than rocket at least. Uh, you get shoulders that move outward just that much. They move down all the way. You could rotate 360. No bicep swivel, but she does have a swivel at the elbow, and she bends in more than 90 degrees with that single jointed elbow. So even though I prefer double jointed elbows, that's quite a Good range of motion right there. Much more than the Marvel Legend female figures anyway. Uh, you get a swivel right here and all the wrists hinge up and down. You get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. You get some good diaphragm pivot and she moves forward a tiny bit, back more so. She has hip joints that look really good. She can do the splits pretty much all the way, which is pretty nice. And you can get her kicking forward that much and not back so much. You get an upper thigh cut, really good double jointed knees. Then the ankles move down. They move up and she does have ankle pivot. I wish she had a swivel or a cut in the calf right here. That that would have helped a lot or a rotation right here at the ankle. That, that's like the one bit of articulation that I'm really missing from this. Aside from the head being able to move up more. Now to measure out these two figures, you can see that Gamora is standing just a little above the seven inch mark and Rocket's at about three and a half inches tall. And then here's Gamora and Rocket compared to the other two Marvel Select Guardians figures we have, Star-Lord and Groot. And I really like how these scale together. This is looking very good. I like these a lot. And then for your comic version comparison, we have the Marvel Legends Gamora and the Marvel Legends Rocket. I think this was the Marvel Unlimited exclusive right over here. But you can see that this Rocket is just a little bit shorter than the Marvel Select version, so I think if you wanted to use this Marvel Select Rocket in a Marvel Legends display, I think it could work out. And then here's Rocket and Groot next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. So I really like this two-pack set a lot. I really feel like you're getting a heck of a bargain with this because you get two figures and they're both very well articulated. Even though Rocket doesn't come with a whole ton of accessories, we also get that base that connects to the other bases. And then Gamora just comes with a ton of accessories, which I really enjoy posing her with. I took a lot of pictures of this figure. I tend to always go back to the big sword though. I really like that big old sword. I just think she looks really cool. I'm very happy with this two pack set and I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment, let me know what you think of the figures. Let me know what you think of the review. You. Please do so in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see the next Shardimus Prime video coming your way. And if you're already subscribed and you haven't hit the notification bell, hit that button so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. I'm gonna play with my toys today.